Today, we're talking about mom influencer Jordan Page. Recently, she shared some bloody content over on Instagram, and I want to share my thoughts and opinions on it today. Recently, Jordan Page's child had several injuries to the head. She spoke about these injuries on Instagram and posted bloody pictures of her child. I'm blurring the image to protect the child's privacy, but this is a trigger warning in case you don't want to see blood. Unfortunately, you can still see blood even if I blur this picture. Jordan posted this picture of her child's bloody face on Instagram and she wrote, you guys, this kid can't catch a freaking break. He just got hit by a balloon weight of all things. Right before she posted these pictures, she was on Instagram talking about a huge lump on his head because he had fallen in the garage. I don't have screenshots of those images, but she also shared pictures of the lump on his head where it was bruised. Next, she posted this picture. Again, I'm blurring the child's face. Jordan wrote poor buddy on her Instagram stories. Don't use your kids like this for content on Instagram. Don't post bloody pictures of your kids on social media as content to get engagement on your stories. That's why parents on social media post these images because people leave comments. People will respond and engage to content like this because it pulls at your heartstrings. And people watching her content will reach out and say, is he okay, poor baby, things like that. All of that is engagement. Engagement is so important to influencers. They need high engagement. Anytime you engage with their content, it helps them out in massive ways. Jordan's niche is budgeting, cooking, things like that. So how is posting bloody images of your children on your platform beneficial to your viewers? How does that add value? What does that teach your viewers? And it's definitely not in Jordan's niche. But parents on social media continue to use their kids for content, especially hurt kids, because that brings a lot of views and a lot of engagement to their platform. Most of these mom content creators say they're all here to inspire us and motivate us and all of that. But how is posting bloody pictures of your kid inspiring to other moms? How does that motivate us? It doesn't. You're actually using your kids for content. The minute a kid gets injured, a lot of mom content creators grab the camera and immediately take a picture because they know they will get a lot of engagement on something like that. People will reach out, they'll leave a comment, they'll like the post. Let's give kids some privacy on social media. Let's not post bloody pictures of their injuries as content. Come on, that's not content. Go check out this video next. Jordan gives horrible shopping tips and tricks when it comes to Christmas shopping with your kids. You gotta hear this.